Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, YouTube channel. Today I am showing a small exercise for the underground ducting system. So you can see here already made out some uh, ducting and uh, some manhole we place it and this will reach to our uh, building. So how we can uh, run this uh, systems over there, I will show you in this exercise. So if you have a, a, a kind of uh, this site layout, so how we can uh, place our uh, uh, manholes and how we can run our conduits or cables or duct through this uh, below ground. I will show you how to how to place that one and how to reach to the panel. Uh, I'll show you. So this is a simple exercise. Those who are working in electrical field. So if you like my video, please subscribe my channel. It's totally related to AutoCAD and Ruby. Okay, let's start the practice. So this is our uh, uh, level uh, one, and below that is the ground floor is coming. So in this area, we need to run the cable uh, to our panel. So what we can do, we just need to go here, and you can see the uh, all the view over here. So like that you can see it from here. So the buildings are there and uh, we'll have uh, 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 the, this uh, panel over here. So we need to run the cable, uh, all the cable need to connect it to this panel, LV panel. So our main route is um, the electricity is coming over this side. So from here we need to put the, all the manhole and reach to our panel. So what we can do, we just need to put our, uh, first we need to put our electrical uh, equipment. So for example, this is the manhole. So I am placing one of the manhole over here. So if you look in the 3D, how it's look, uh, just select that one. And you can see the manhole is placed over here. And if you need the level, you need to off it. Okay, so just uh, off the level from here. Okay, you can see it is clearly visible, the manhole uh, it was showing over here. And if you change the uh, visible graphic display option, change to wireframe, you can see that it, it, this was, uh, the manhole was placed in the ground and easily they can access the, this is the cover of the manhole okay so they can easily uh, uh, easily this one uh, they can uh, remove and they can maintenance the things from there okay then uh, then our next manhole we need to connect it over here this here and one of one of the manhole we need to connect over here and you can give the specific uh, uh, distance uh, for example, I need to I need to connect one manhole over here and here. So our cable up coming up to here. This is our cable entry over here. So we need to run the cable like this, or or you can adjust it this one uh, as per your requirement. So I'm just placing this one for the simple exercise. Uh, so then then what we need to do? We need to check our uh, conduits from here, and I'm choosing this conduit is 150. And we need to give some levels like uh, 450 mm below the ground. So we just need to draw one conduit over here. We just need to place it like this. Okay, so if you are placing like uh, uh, this way, so just place it that one and just go to the 3D view. So you can see that uh, that conduit is connected to our manhole. And you can give how many numbers you require. So you can give that one also. Just move from the arrow key from the keyboard copy this one you can copy this one from select this one and copy it otherwise you can put a cc for copy and i am placing three conduits over here so just place the three conduits for this manhole with this level i am just giving this one 450 from the ground level so you can see clearly so that, that three conduits are, or three cables are coming on the three ducts are coming on over here and we just need to draw another duct so just click on this one create similar create similar you can get it from here also create similar so just uh, otherwise you can type a cs just to click like this up to this manhole and just need to draw another one of from here first we need to connect one of the uh, duct and just need to connect to one of one from here the same uh, depth it was going and connecting to this one to here and another one connecting to here and another one connecting to this panel so once you end one one uh, one uh, this one is come up over here so just need to move like this uh, and to, for example this is the first uh, first duct okay so just uh, we can say like uh, this one we need to connect it from here uh, maybe it was deleting okay so just uh, need to align with this one 
okay so then uh, then we need to uh, enter the this cable to this panel so what we can do we need to create a section so for, for creating section you will be get a section uh, symbol from here and you just need to uh, draw like this and you will be get a sections okay then click uh, just just stretch this one up to here and just go to view just go to view and just uh, give a fine from here if you need a shaded view just to give a shaded view from here so you can see he clearly the uh, duct uh, manhole over here so just to select like this and we just need to enter our duct to, to this panel so for example this one you can uh, make it like this simply it will reach to our panel so if you go to the 3d view you can see that our uh, duct is uh, duct is connected to our panel so if you are stretching this one so otherwise you can uh, turn off the topography from here just go to vv and change this uh, off this topography so you can clearly see it will be uh, connected to our panel the, the the duct is connected to our panel feeding our power to our panel so th that that's that was okay so just go to open this topography again and just need to go to power again and just copy this one just simply copy once you've done that one just simply copy this one and you can place this one as per your requirement and the same process for here so you can give some spacing over here like for example 100 you are giving means so you can give the uh, that distance and equal distance you can maintain it and the same thing for here so you can copy this select this two select this one this one and uh, copy this thing these things and uh, connecting to this uh, Manhole. You can align also like uh, you just give align command from here, align, select align and just uh, align with this one. So easily that will align to this um, manhole. And even same thing for here. So just to copy this one and you can just just uh, copy it and how many cable you required, uh, how many duct you required, you can just uh, copy it that things. Okay, so simply select these things and don't want to do it again and again the section. So okay, you can give the like this things easily so if you select the view so you can see uh, it is auto, uh, already uh, connected to our uh, connected to our panel so that is the way we are uh, doing see you can see clearly see it was connecting to our uh, our panel so the, from the panel it will be distributed so this is a simple exercise so if you are uh, stretching this one like uh, like this so easily you can see how it's uh, run so you can see from the below option so you can see it was coming from here the power is coming from here and uh, it will be connecting to this one so another simple option you can select this one just select this one and create uh, select in the visible uh, view so then uh, you can uh, you can choose this one also select like this and select all the conduit like this and and set this uh, these things okay and uh, I, will, I will show you one thing simple exercise is that so just uh, just just you need, you need to select these things okay like this and like this and uh, uh, you can select the invisible view so if you need a simply like you need another layer of this one same thing same size so what we can do just go select like this and copy it and you can uh, paste it like this how much uh, duct you require so you can uh, just uh, uh, do the things like that so you can see here clearly you can see it will be like a three four uh, layer of uh, uh, duct is coming and it is entering to the panel so this is the very simple exercise in a rivet uh, like uh, for the uh, uh, ducting from outside to uh, site uh, site uh, uh, below the ground the running the ducts simply we can ex we can do this way and if you need uh, to give it some dimensions okay so you can give the dimensions also you go to this annotate and you can select the align dimension and from center to this this center of this you can give this dimensions and from here to here you can give the dimensions and from same thing you can give the simple dimensions from here and even from the building how much distance it is coming so you can give that uh, that uh, distance also from this manhole how much distance it will come you can give that one and from here to here you can give the another dimensions 
So like that you can give. Even even you can give the tag also. For example, you just type tg. Otherwise, you will be get from the annotate this tag from uh, tag from tag by category. You can specify the uh, uh, this uh, uh, these things. So for example, this is a uh, this is uh, we can change this uh, text also. Like for example, we need to give some other tag. Okay, so for example, you just need to select this one and edit family. Just go to edit family about this one. So just uh, we we will change the label from here. I'm just removing this one and I'm giving some comments over there. Uh, type comments or just simple comment I'm giving. Okay, adding that one. Click OK and just uh, stretch this one like this and load into the project. All right. So there will be no comment, so we can write it uh, UPVC, whichever you have the specification for that uh, duct. So UPVC 150mm uh, duct will be will be power to say LV power duct. Oh, sorry, power duct. Uh, Okay, power duct like that. You can give the uh, uh, this uh, comments for this one, so you can arrange these things. And if you need to add some other uh, things, you can uh, add also. So just select it like this. And if you can edit the arrow type also, you can uh, change the arrow head from here. Just need to fill a dot. Okay, so you can give that like that. For example, same things for here also. Just uh, select this one and you just uh, drag like this. Okay, then uh, just to copy this text. Okay, just you can give the same same kind of text over here, so you can adjust it like this. So this is the way we are giving this uh, uh, tag and everything for uh, uh, for this uh, uh, this one. So if you need to give same type of comments or in the visible in the view, so you can uh, put the comments over here. Same thing, and if you can uh, tag this one, so automatically it will uh, come up over here. So you can easily uh, give the tag for uh, all the things easily like this. So this is the one of the simple exercise. And even even for the this this pipe, okay, you can need to give some tags. You can give the some tags for this uh, this duct also. Yes, like this you can give the tag. And even you can stretch it this one. Beautifully you can arrange it. And for the uh, this one also you can give some uh, tag. So for example, this one I uh, am saying like uh, uh, manhole, just uh, electrical manhole. You can uh, put that one also here. So just to give a tag for this one, and even you can if you need to give a size of this one. Or for example, this is 1202, 1202, 1200. So electrical manhole, you can place it. Just type electrical manhole. I'm I'm using command uh, using command for this tagging, so that is what it is uh, showing like this. If you can automatically tag also there, so just to give a tag, and if you can select this one, and uh, this is just select this one, so the command is like this. Just copy this one, and if you need to um, select visible in view, and you can give a command for here. Just give a comment over here, and you can tag it easily. Just uh, just tag this one. Tag it. Okay. Then just give the uh, this uh, this things over here. And tag it again. Again. So just give a tag for this one. Okay. Just give a tag like this. So once you've done these things, and uh, if you have this one, okay, just tag this one. For example, this one is not in, a, uh, not in that way, like you just need to edit the family again. So this is showing panel name, okay. So we can say, uh, we can put it in the panel name also, but it was not a right way. So just uh, edit this one and remove this one, and just add a comment over here. Just add it, click OK, and just uh, stretch this one like this, load into the project. So automatically it will uh, automatically it will adjust with the uh, proper tag. So just to give a tag for this one, just giving like this, and you can uh, give the tag like this. So this is a very simple exercise uh, in a river like uh, underground uh, ducting. 
uh, for electrical purpose entering to the uh, panels so if you like my video please subscribe my channel it's totally related to um, electrical and electrical and auto care related to rivet and MEP